Hey everyone, Jeff here, also known as the Revit Kid. Thanks for tuning in today. I have another quick tutorial that's pretty cool. Again, it's one of those things that a lot of people don't know about when it comes to Revit. We're actually gonna be talking about creating a wall sweep profile, but then adding detail items to it. So perfect example is metal wall coping and adding a, uh, a cut nominal section of lumber or something into that detail. So really cool tutorial. Um, I wanna thank Emil from my uh, my community, uh, the BIM After Dark community for, for asking this question and sort of um, poking us to find the answer and, uh, and allowing us to share it with you today. So before we jump into it, I did wanna mention that today's video is sponsored by RevitFamily.biz. For those of you not familiar with RevitFamily.biz, it's a company that makes Revit families specifically for residential architecture. Right now, they offer four different family types. That is cabinets, windows, interior doors, and exterior doors. And each of these window types come with different styles. For example, if you wanted a craftsman set of cabinets, then you've got a craftsman set of cabinets. What's great about them is they also match and they're consistent between each other. So if you were doing an entire craftsman style house and you needed doors, windows, and cabinets, you can buy that package as well. Brenton, who created the site, has over five years of selling these families and 12 plus years in Revit. He's great to work with. Um, he'll answer all your questions. And he's also been kind enough to offer you 30% off any of the families that you would like. In order for you to take advantage of that offer, head on over to revitfamily.biz, that's revitfamily.biz, and use offer code REVITKID to save 30%. So thanks, Brenton, for sponsoring this uh, episode. And uh, with that, we're gonna jump into the content for today. So what I have here is a really simple project. It's just a brick wall <laughs> and, uh, and then a section cut through that brick wall. And so what we're gonna talk about is if I wanted to place metal coping on this brick wall, but then I also maybe wanted to show blocking within it, but maybe I didn't wanna model the blocking for some reason. I only wanted to show my wall sections. I'm gonna show you a really neat trick to show detail items within your um, wall sections, let's say, but especially within your sweeps, like a wall sweep or something like that. So first thing first, um, I thought it'd be nice to just walk through the process of how would you add the metal coping if you didn't have that family of that profile loaded into your template. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna create, I'm gonna go to file, new, family. I'm gonna scroll down to profile. So we're gonna just create a generic profile. I'm not gonna make this fully parametric today because it would just take too long for the sake of this tutorial. But what I am gonna say is that um, if you were doing this yourself, you'd wanna follow along and, 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 and learn how to make this a parametric um, object. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly check the width of this wall, one foot one and seven eighths. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw in either direction, doesn't really make a difference, but I'm just gonna draw in this direction, one foot one and seven eighths as a reference plane so I can see where we're at. And I'm just gonna quickly draw a profile. So I'm gonna use my line tool and I'm gonna say, all right, maybe this and this, I don't know, and this, this might be our profile. I'm gonna offset it. Again, ideally you'd make this fully parametric and be able to change all kinds of stuff, but for the sake of today's tutorial, we're not digging into the um, parametrics of a profile. So there we go, this is our profile. I'm gonna save it as a name that we can all use. So this is going to be Metal Coping Tutorial. And then I'm going to load this into my project. Okay, so now it's loaded into this project. So I'm actually gonna do it through the wall type. We don't have to do it through the wall type. You can place it as a wall sweep, but I'm just gonna do it through the wall type for now. So I'm gonna select my wall, say Edit Type. Um, and I'm gonna duplicate this and call it with coping for now, with coping. I'm gonna to go to edit and I'm gonna click the preview. So this is important for anyone who's not created a wall profile or reveal. Um, you have to be in the preview mode. So there's a little button here for preview and you have to be in the section mode. Notice the second I go to section, all of these options appear, right? If I go to floor plan, these options are grayed. If I go to section, these options appear, which is modify, sweeps, reveals, all kinds of cool stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're going to add a sweep. So I'm gonna click sweeps. I'm gonna click add. And then I'm gonna pick a profile. And so you'll notice that metal coping tutorial is now on the list of my profiles to choose. So I'm gonna click that. I can give it a material if I'd like. So let's just give it a some sort of a metal profile or metal material. So I'm gonna choose iron, sure, why not, whatever. And I'm actually gonna say, I want this to go from the top and right now I'm, gonna not, I'm not gonna set any of the distances or, or offsets. I'm gonna click apply, click okay, and then look at what happened here. 
So now I just need to change the offset of it. So I'm going to change the offset from the exterior side. I'm going to offset it um, negative one foot one and seven eighths. I think that was the that was the distance, right? There we go. Click OK. All right. So there we go. I know this isn't perfect, but I'm just showing you how you can add it. So now it's added here. I can click OK, OK. And now there we go. We have our we have our, our profile. If I go hit in line, you can see it. Okay, and now in sections, notice this. We actually have our, our, our section there, which looks really cool. Okay. But now let's say we want to show blocking underneath here in our wall section. This is what this is really the, the heart of this tutorial is showing this blocking. How do you do that? Well, the problem is if you go back into our profile. If you just say, okay, I want to create um, a line and I want to just draw it like this and I'm going to draw some lines in between and all this good stuff, Revit won't make this profile. And the reason it won't is because if you look at this as a sketch, um, if, you were to, if you were to sketch this in like an extrusion, for example, this wouldn't work. It's multiple closed uh, loops. It's, it's got these X's. This just won't work as a sketch. So um, you can't do that. All right, and so you have two options. You can either make multiple sweeps in here that have different profiles if you want it in three dimensions. But if you didn't want it in three dimensions, there is an option that a lot of people don't know exists, which is you can actually load a detail component or more into your profiles. So I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to go load family and I'm going to go down and I'm going to look for my detail items. And I'm going to grab uh, under wood and plastic. I'm going to grab my wood framing. Now I'm going to do a nominal cut section for now. And I'm going to load in, let's say, a 2x6 and a 2x4. Click OK. Now if I go to Create, there's a little detail component thing here. See that? I can place a detail component. I can place a 2x4 here. Not only that, but I can also go here and place a 2x6 here. Now remember, these are detail components. So if I load these into my project, click Overwrite Existing, look at that. Ta-da, they're there, more than one. Pretty sweet, right? I mean, that's it. That's the tutorial. <laughs> any profile family, almost any profile family, you can place a detail item in it and they will show up in your sections. The one caveat is if you are not cut directly perpendicular to your profile, you will not see them. And that is just a Revit caveat. So hopefully that was helpful to you. If you've been struggling to try and figure out how to show some of these things, maybe make your wall sections faster and easier, this is one way to do it. It's pretty cool. Uh, maybe it's useful for you. Maybe you find another use for it, but hopefully you learned something from it. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I'll see you guys soon.